Hi everyone, welcome. I am Kim Beegler, the owner of Youthful Fiber Farm and Mill, and we're gonna talk about all the wool. Are you surprised I'm here? First of all, if you're new, welcome. I talk about wool, owning a fiber mill, having sheep, being farmers, yarn, knitting, all the things, hand spinning a lot. Um, so welcome, and if you're returning, welcome back. Happy start to the holiday season for everybody, wherever you are. I think this is safely holiday season. Um, I wanted to pop on, I didn't think I was gonna be here, and then I decided I'm just gonna do like a mini quick, my top five, maybe six, my top knitting patterns, holiday gifts. Hands fun approved, okay? Because of course I have to have the hands fun approved in there. So uh, I just wanted to share a little bit with you about some of the patterns I've made that are smaller, that would work well with hands fun, and that are great for giving for gifts, right? So, okay, um, let's start. The first one I have, I'm just gonna reach into my bag and whatever the first one is, hold on. For those of you that want to see Wish, you don't wanna disappoint, there she is in all her glory trying to get on my lap. So we're going to pop her back over onto her chair. Okay, onward. Okay, first thing I'm grabbing out. Oh, you guys, this is one of my favorite, favorite hats I've ever knit. So this is the Conversationalist by Plucky Knitter Design. Um, I'll put all the patterns in my show notes. I love how simple this, and it fits perfectly, which is not always the case in a hat with the little natural pom-pom at the top. It's just perfect and simple and an easy knit, right? Um, kind of a knit that just about anybody, I think, would love. Two colors, and then you could do the pom-pom in a different color. Obviously, you could do the whole thing in solid. That's fine, too. I used a yarn I don't make anymore. Um, it was a Romney alpaca silk yarn, and I would say it was a, oh my gosh, this cat, that it was a, um, light worsted the pattern calls for worsted anyway there it is and it doesn't take much yarn right so great for hand spun i think um because you could use kind of some of those bits even if you are doing if you have drop spindle you know you get those little skeins that would be great for it okay so next that i'm pulling out yep this is another favorite i wear this all the time and i'm probably going to hit the microphone so bear with me i'll try to work around it Try it. The cat is playing with the buttons on my... Okay, so this is the... We'll just go like this. This is the Arbutus by Jane Richmond. Hopefully you can hear Arbutus by Jane Richmond. What I love about this, see how it has... It's like two holes in there. So it has this lovely drape. Now, the wool I used for this, again, a yarn I don't spin anymore, but... That's no big deal for us knitters, right? Um, this is a Border Lester um, mohair. So you can see a little bit of that halo. So it has that nice extra drape because you want those to sit on each other well. I do have, if you're a spinner, I do have some of this in about this color. Oh my gosh, she's going crazy. Hold. Whew. Okay, we're back. I had to, uh, we had to rearrange because Wish was getting so crazy. She was pulling threads out of my wool skirt that I love more than life. So, um, okay, Arbutus by Jane Richmond. If you are a hand spinner, I do have some of this fiber left. Um, I think I called it Prineville. I believe it's labeled as that, but it's Border Luster Mohair. I think it's about an 80-20, and I do love how it drapes really well. This, I just, it was a two-ply yarn that I made so that could easily be spun and it's easy and if you spin it nice and light then you're going to have a next to skin there okay don't forget hand spinners that I mean for everybody but hand spinners especially um, heads and hands and feet are less sensitive to itch so if you have some of that hand spun that is not quite next to skin hats are great for that mittens are great for that um, Obviously, if, they, if the person doesn't have hair, then you wanna go something that's gonna be a little bit less itchy. But in general, we can wear a little bit more itch on our heads, on our hands, on our feet. Speaking of hands, let's grab that. Let's grab my next one. Cause this is Oma Lenny's Chunky Mitts by Grelina Free. 
Okay, you can see I have worn these. I only made these like a year ago, but I wear them all the time when I, especially when I'm walking the dogs. Um, super quick knit. Again, this is hand spun. So this is actually hand spun. I think I did this with Icelandic that I did as a two ply. Um, you can probably see, you can see some hairs there sticking out from the Icelandic. Uh, so mittens, who can't use some great mittens? Good, so quick. Mittens are so quick. You all know that I am knitting up the, um, the world's simplest mittens by Tin Can Knits, which is also a great pattern, but I had knit these a long, uh, not a long time ago, but a while ago. And I do really love them. And I remember loving this pattern and fabulous for hand spun. I tend to look for patterns that have more of a wooly wool when I am doing, going to use my hand spun. And this was, and it fit right in. I think they use Icelandic maybe for the pattern. Um, but any yarn would be great. Anyway, there we go. There's those. So quick. Um, next here, oh no, let's do, um, this is another one of my favorites that I wear all winter long. This is my early, early hand spun. So a great hand spun. I think this was like a, it was like a um, Angora. So you can see lots of floof there. It was like an Angora something that I plied with a different yarn. So it's definitely not, I mean, you can see that it's not perfect yarn, but this is the bandana cowl. If you've never knit the bandana cowl, I'll try to do this without hitting the microphone again. Um, I love this and you know, it has a little bit of drape to it, but it has a lot of warm and a lot of fluff. And it's one of my favorites and it was just like different colors. There's purple in here, there's green, there's gray. Um, but this is a really great pattern for hand spun also. And it um, doesn't take much yarn and it's a little fun. And you know, it can be warm and lovely. I would love to hear from you all. How many of you actually knit or crochet or, or make for your gifts? How many of you knit or crochet or make with your hand spun? That's a big one. So comment below, let me know, because I would love to hear. I don't think that I have ever, nope, that's not true. I have gifted one or two hats in hand spun. So I have done some, I haven't done a whole lot because hand spun, you know, I mean, us hand spinners, it's, it's extra valuable stuff, right? So, um, okay, that was the bandana cowl by Pearl Soho. Fun fun and quick. And here's one completely off the charts. I did this years ago. I can't remember which yarn, but whatever yarn it called for in the pattern um, I used, but you just basically want a yarn that will felt up fairly well if you throw this in the washing machine. And I love this. It's the Booga bag. The Booga bag. Okay. It's only like 340 yards of a worsted weight. And then you do that little I made this and I did do the felting. I threw it in a washing machine, felted it up a little bit and I gifted it to one of my best friends. Luckily I gifted it to one of my best friends because, and I know she still has it because I loved it. I really did love it. And I've always wanted to do another one. And that is a quick knit that, um, that, you know, somebody doesn't have to wear. So you could use a fiber that, you know, maybe you're not so, um, I don't know, not fond of, but that just wouldn't be, for articles of clothing. How's that? So that was the Booga bag. That is by Julie Anderson, Black Sheep Bags. I know it's still on Ravelry, and even though I did it like 10 years ago because I just saw it there, and it's a super, I believe it's like a super basic pattern, which is great. Um, okay, last one. Okay, so I did five. We did the, we'll run through them one more time, just so you can see. And I will put all the links in the show notes to these patterns, but Bandana Cowl by Pearl Soho. Oma Lenny's Chunky Mitts by Grelina Free. All of these are on Ravelry. Um, the Arbutus by Jane Richmond. It looks a little odd, like, but uh, you saw it on and it's great. My favorite hat ever. Conversationalist by Plucky Knitter Design. This would be so good if you have little bits of hand spun, like to do the top with and maybe even the, okay? And then because I have to, oh, and the booga bag. Let's not forget the booga bag. 
And because I have to, because she's my friend and I love the pattern and it's pretty quick too, is Wendy's favorite Charlotte. And this I knit in, um, and it, it, it goes like the little, the section of lace is very quick. You get it. I did have to rip out the first tiny bit, like the first row of lace, I think. And then after that, it was like, click. Okay, we're good. I don't know why. So weird. Anyway, um, I knit this with, again, the yarn, the same yarn that I knit this with that I don't make anymore. But, um, so this was a whole, uh, Romney alpaca silk. I mean, hand spinners, you could whip that up yourself at home. But um, this is another one of my favorite go-tos during the winter because it ties, for me, I tie it and then I can tuck it into jackets and things like that. Okay, you all, so what do you think? I would love to hear from you all. Um, what are your small patterns that you love to gift to people? Do you gift even? I don't gift as much as I used to personally. Um, because I don't know why there's just like so much to spin and knit that I forget. And then it's like, Oh, it's Christmas. Um, last year I did gift somebody, uh, I gifted him the yarn and I may have cast it on. I gifted him the yarn and the needles and everything and taught him to start knitting a hat or no, a shawl. So it was like, he opened it. I think somebody else got a hat and he got an unknitted object because he'd wanting to learn to knit so that was a great gift too and I think I had already cast it on so that day because I was only going to see him for an hour or two more then we could start and then he could run away with it and uh, because I wasn't going to see him so there's another great gift idea the gift of teaching somebody to knit so anyway I'd love to hear from you all what are your favorite patterns that you use to kind of whip out something that somebody's going to love uh do you make for other people? Do you use your hand spun for other people? Anyway, that's all I got for you this week. I will be back next week with more with mail videos and all the other things, but I just wanted to pop in and share with you some of my favorite things as we're all getting into like the, should I make or should I not make for this holiday season? So let me know what you're gonna do. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope everybody has a wonderful start to their holiday season. Everybody stay healthy out there as best you can make all the pretty things and be kind to your neighbor. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing all of your comments. I know they will inspire all of us and I will see you next week. Thank you.